I'm Amy from Doodle Dog Designs and today I'm going to be talking punch nail. It can be very frustrating to be punching along and then all of a sudden you realize that your loops are not staying in the fabric. So today I'm going to talk about a few reasons why that might be happening. One of the easiest to check is to see if your needle is threaded correctly. I've been punching for a while and this still happens to me occasionally. I will thread the needle through the tube and start punching. And I've forgotten to thread the thread through the eye of the needle. And if you don't thread it through the eye of the needle, the loops won't stay in. So we want to be sure to finish threading. It is a two-step process. And then you can punch. Another problem you could have that would cause your loops to not stay in the fabric is if your thread is not flowing freely. So if you get your thread caught up on something when you're punching and it's stuck there, then your loops aren't going to stay in the fabric. This happens to me sometimes too, but I try to keep this floss binder on a table right next to me so I don't get the thread caught under my arm or anywhere else. Make sure that it can flow freely and that way it will flow through the tube freely and your loops will stay in the fabric. The third problem you might have is your fabric that you're using. You can punch on a lot of different fabrics, but weaver's cloth is a perfect combination. The weave is tight enough to keep the stitches in the fabric and has cotton and polyester so the needle won't fray the fabric. I recommend using weaver's cloth to start with until you get the hang of things and then once you get the hang of things you'll know whether or not the problem is the fabric or something else that you're doing. You also want to make sure that your weaver's cloth is tight in your frame or hoop. I have a couple videos that I show how to get it tight in a frame and how to get it tight in a hoop and I will put a link in the description below to those. And finally, you want to make sure that you are using the proper punching technique. You want to make sure that your thread is trailing behind when you punch. So this is the back of where you're punching. So you're going to punch forward away from the tail. And you don't want to lift the needle way up because as you can see there, that caused the loop to come right out when I pulled it up. So you just want to kind of glide your needle across the fabric so the tip of the needle is touching the tip of the fabric and move over to the next place where you want to put a punch in. If you're new to punching and you want a more detailed guide that you can print out and keep beside you while you're punching, the beginner's guide to punch needle embroidery will be a good option for you. I'll put a link in the description below to that ebook. I hope that helps you. As with any new skill that you're learning, if you just keep practicing, you will be able to master it. Be sure to click the like button and subscribe below. I'll see you next time. Bye.